So in this video, we're going to find the directional derivative of this function at this point in the direction of this vector. The formula we're going to use for the directional derivative is the directional derivative in the direction of the unit vector u of f of xy that's equal to the partial with respect to x at xy cosine of theta plus the partial with respect to y at xy sine theta. So the first thing we have to do in this problem is come up with a unit vector in the direction of v, because v is not a unit vector. Okay? So to come up with a unit vector in the direction of v, we're going to divide by the magnitude of v. So the magnitude of v is the square root, and then you square each component and you add them up. So it's 8 squared plus negative 15 squared. If you work this out, I think you get 17. Okay? So now we just divide v by 17. So v will be equal to 8 over 17, i hat, minus 15 over 17, j hat. v over <laughs> the magnitude of v. So that vector, this is a unit vector in the direction of v. So now we're going to find, let's call this u. And so now we're going to go ahead and compute the partials and then plug everything in and then work it out from there. So to compute the partials here, you want to think of g as something to the one half power. So you want to think of it like this, right? All right, so now when we take the partials, we, we bring that one half down and we use the chain rule. So little g sub x of x, y is one half, don't touch the inside, and then you get a negative one half here times the derivative of the inside. So the inside function here is just gonna be two x. The twos cancel, you can bring this guy down, so you get x over square root x squared plus y squared, okay? If you do the partial with respect to y, I think it's going to be exactly the same thing, except you have a y. So let's go ahead and, and finish up the problem. So I'm going to go ahead and um, erase this, and we'll write the answer up here, okay, using this formula. So this is our u, okay, this is our u, and so this is our unit vector. So this here is going to be cosine theta, okay, this is the key step. And this piece here is going to be sine theta, okay. All right, so let's, let's write it out. So d u, the direction of u of g, of, and at this, it's going to be at 3, 4. Okay, so 3, 4. Okay, so let's see. So the partial uh, at 3, 4. So that's this guy here. Okay, so x is 3. So x is 3 and y is 4. So we get 3 squared plus 4 squared. So we get 3 squared plus uh, 4 squared. And then we get cosine of theta, but that's going to be 8 over 7. That's going to be 8 over 17. Plus, and then the partial with respect to y. So we said that's going to be the same as this one, except with the y. It's pretty easy to see. I'll leave it to you. Oh, not y. y is 4. And then x squared plus y squared, same as before. 3 squared plus 4 squared. And then here we have a negative 15 over 17. Okay. And I think that's it, right? Now we just got to clean this up, and we have the answer. Let's finish it up. So let's see, so 9 plus 16 is 25. Square root of 25 is 5. This is 3 fifths times 8 over 17. Plus this is 4 fifths times negative 15 over 17. All right, let's keep going. All right, let's see, let's be careful here. So 3 times 8 is 24. Nothing simplifies here, right? 3 doesn't go into 5. These are, these are not, nothing, nothing's going to work here. So 24 minus 60. And then 5 times 17, let's see, 5 times 10 is 50, 5 times 7 is 35, so 85. It's going to be negative, let's see, 24 minus 6, let's not get stuck here. This is going to be negative, I think negative 36 over 85, right? 36 uh, plus 24 should give you 60, yeah, it looks okay. And that's it, that's the directional derivative.